Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at Lake. This is a game that I personally requested because it just sounded peaceful. Sounded a little different, kind of reminded me um, of Firewatch, actually. I'm just going to read the blurb directly from the developers. It's 1986, Meredith Weiss takes a break from her career in the big city to deliver mail in her hometown. How will she experience two weeks in beautiful Providence Oaks with its iconic lake and quirky community? And what she what she what will she do next? It's up to you. I don't know. That just sounded peaceful, a little different than um, you know a lot of the, the normal stuff that we play. So I'm playing this on PC. Uh, I believe it's also out on Xbox. I'm playing with a uh, Xbox controller though. Let's get a new game started and see what this is about. I'm I'm down for something. Um, down for something peaceful. Down for something just like, oh, this is different. This is nice. Also, I don't think I've ever played a game where I delivered mail. Wait, no, paper boy. <laughs> the classic paper. But other than that, that's it. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. <laughs> Afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. So it's 1986, and we're living in the big city, and we're going to be taking a vac kind of a vacation. Sounds like we're still going to be working Thanks a little so much bit for remotely. Me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman, please just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. So her dad delivered mail, which is the connection she has here. Okay, so this is her, this is, this is her hometown, but also... Because I was like, why is it she's delivering mail in her hometown? Okay, so her dad used to be a, a postal worker here. Okay. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Game is called Lake because there's the lake. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay, I think I can figure that out. Walk into the mailbox. I have got your mail. Here it goes. I'll put it in. I'll do it without fail. I'll look around with right stick to see what I can see. I am on vacation, but I am working freely. Back into the mail truck. We'll make another round. How do I get in mail truck? Nothing too difficult. Right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. 
<laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Exit the mail truck. What you got back here? All right, this is the parcel. That's lighter than I thought. This is such a quaint little town. Oh, can you... I think you... Yeah, you can... It's almost not noticeable, but if you hold right trigger, you walk a tiny bit faster. Not very... not much, but a little bit. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. I'm calling it a day. Oh, and there it's telling me now. It's it's really... In fact, I'm like swapping back and forth. You probably can't even tell. It doesn't make sense for the theme to like run, I guess. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that. But you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Cute. <laughs> Chess says the a little bit There's of hustle no place button. Like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Bye, Frank. Let me put a little hustle in my step. So are my parents here? Like, do I get to chill out with my parents? They still live in town? Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather ah. is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Steve. <laughs> no, Steve. Ah, uh, crunch. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Yeah. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Alright, so... Just giving me free reign here. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto's looking a little different these days. Walk to the mail truck cabin door. Okay. So I have a dedicated map, although I also have a mini-map, so like... I, you know, I'm not too worried about this. So, I gotta deliver a package here. I can't, I probably shouldn't stop in the middle of the road, right? That's, so I, I'll just do this. I'm like, what would, what would a real male person do? So this is a package. Oh God, I have to know where I am. Oh Jesus. Where, okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm new. What, what are, what place, is, is this where this goes? This is where this goes? Where is, is there an address? On the, or it's, is it this? Wait, 
Where's the package? Yeah, but what where what's the address here? What's the what's the address? Where am I at? Oh god, I'm so new. Uh this is yeah, I am Meredith. General st Yeah, but what Where is that? Where where is where okay, high delivery. No, I need to know where what street I'm on. Wait. Oh where's Jesus. The package? Okay, what street? Wait. Where's the package? No, sh it's okay. <laughs> Where's the street? What street is this? Oh, it says on the road. I'm on Main. It shows me the road I'm on. I'm Main. I'm on Main. So I just need Main Street package. There's a parcel for Main Street. This is the only Main Street package. This has got to be it. Okay. Sorry. I I was... I needed a minute. This, we're good now. We're fine. We're fine. I have the package. It's all good. I'm going to go into the general store and deliver it. Get to know some of these folks. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Uh, you do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. All right, well, uh, I mean, I guess I can keep talking. Can we just chat about stuff? People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. I'm sorry, Nancy. Well, I got, I got like stuff to do. I don't know that there's a time. Oh my God, did I park in the road? Am I wanted? Am I going to prison? Hi, officer. I saw I'd check in on you. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Totally fine. Uh, let's get back in the truck. Back in the truck. I, I feel like this is a game that's going to be full of, like, small-town gossip. And it's just going to be about checking in on, like, people and seeing how they're doing. Okay, this is a little... This isn't really kosher, but I'm going to just pull into the driveway. It's probably fine. Deliver mail. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Done. See, I feel like I should be able to deliver the mail without getting out of the truck. All right. Uh, let's see. The map. So this is all set. I guess I'll just take a right here, because you got to basically drive around the lake. So I got quite a few things to deliver. So let's take a right at this stop sign and see. Um... I'm actually enjoying this. All right, here we go. We'll just take a little cruise down West Lakeview Boulevard. If there's a speed limit, first off, I didn't see it posted, and second off, I don't know how fast I'm going. Uh. River. It does feel like I'm going a little fast. It's fine. Kind of drifted into the left lane there. All right. Say so I can pull up onto the curb. That's that's fine. That's that's I'm allowed to do that. No one's coming. All right, here we go. Deliver the mail. Got him. And I'm real close to the next parcel which is is it that house is that where they want me to go okay yeah that's definitely where they want me to go so I'm just gonna kind I'm just gonna come kind, of, kind of do a little Yui here my bad so I'm on vintage street but I think this is getting delivered I ran that stop sign uh, I think this is getting delivered to this house this is 200 Lake Road. Okay. Now that I know where to look for the address, now I'm fine. But before I was very concerned. Oh, there's some kitties in the yard. Hi, guys. 200 Lake Road. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, there's a lot of kitties. Hi, guys. There's one on the... There, you guys are all over the place. What is this, Polestar? Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, 
Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? You're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. Oh. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Ooh. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Man. Genevieve. I hope I don't get pissy when I get old. That's like my it's like my one request in life. It's like I, if if I get old before I die, cool. But I hope I don't get pissy. I really hope I don't. All right, so uh enjoy your cats. Um let's let's head on down the road. In a few days. I won't even need that map. Yeah, no, I'm not sure about that. All right, we got another one here. Is this the gas station? Yeah, 300 Lake Road. one in here. All right, let's deliver this. 300 Lake Road is this box. Kind of small. Did I not take it? That was weird. I hit A. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Alright. Alright, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. This is, this is nice. This is also about what I expected, too. Like, reading a little bit about the game and seeing just a little bit of uh, footage of it. I'm like, yeah, this is this is about what I expected from this sort of thing. Let's see what's on the radio. It's also got that that like far away feel. 
I'm just cruising. Where was Bear Creek again? I mean, we got a leather that's like out here in the middle of the woods, so I'm gonna head on down the road. Because this is really out here. I'm going kind of fast for this, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old Alright, I got it. And let's just park it here. I got some mail. Is anybody around? Let me hit the hustle button. There's a new face. Lumberjack. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I'm here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. So this is this is pretty neat because you're here for two weeks. So this is basically getting to know people. So like I'm sure that you're gonna revisit Robert. I'm sure you're going to find out maybe what that leather was about and get a chance to know these residents. And see the cat lady again. Uh, all right, let's go, let's go deliver another package. Get another one out this way. It's on the other side of the lake? I think? Let's see, zoom out. I'm here. Oh, it's actually, it's actually faster to go I would assume it's faster to go this way, the way I came. But I kind of want to see the other side, so maybe I'll just cruise. I'll just cruise. I'll just cruise this this way anyway. Just drive around the outside of the uh, the lake and see what's around here. Hey, bud. Let me turn my radio back on. There we go. Ah, this is nice. Actually, one of my favorite things about taking road trips is being, you know, directed through, like, small-town America. And it's just cozy. You get to drive through little tiny towns. You get to see, you know, parts of the country that you don't normally get to see. It's one of the things that me and Mal really like about traveling. I mean, you know, obviously, if you need to get to your destination, then you're on the interstate. But occasionally, it pulls you off, and you just get to... See little tiny places. There are some places up in, uh, you know, the New England states that we were at on our um, our uh, road trip in twenty uh, in twenty eighteen. It reminded me of this a little bit. So like, I don't I don't need to stop here, but this is a spot, and I'm just kind of curious if I can if I can chat with anyone here or not. To so the Oregon Trail Motel office. Is anyone here? They don't have any mail today, so I guess that's not something I'm going to be able to uh, to do. All right, let me jump back in. We still have one more uh, one more package to to deliver. Let's back this big rig on up now. Tokyo Drift, baby. All right. Vacancy? I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Blowing my mind. How is that hotel not packed? jam-packed. <laughs> All right, let's head on over here. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah, I imagine if you come from a, a small town, like growing up and then going somewhere else, especially if you're going to like a really big city, probably is a huge, huge change. Probably feels extremely different. This is all beautiful. All right, final package coming up. Oh God, oh God, I'm wrecking the truck. Oh, Frank's gonna kill me if I mess up Goose. All right, up here on the right. 
Ah, Moe's Diner. And there stands in. Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? All right, 500, I think it's the last one I have, actually. Yeah, pick up. Let's walk on up here and see, uh, see what's in here. <laughs> Jeff says, this is a part of Grand Theft Auto V I've never seen before. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. I mean, I've already delivered all the mail, so like, it's fine. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. That was a cut. Wild. <laughs> and Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Is Ashley locked up? Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right, let's uh let's get back to the post office then. Look at these little cars. All right, fortunately, we're actually not that far from the post office. If I would have run that stop sign, there would have been the first wreck in Providence Oaks in many years. <laughs> but I stopped, or at least hesitated. I hesitated, and that kept us all alive. All right, just up the road a tad. Yeah, all right, we're nearly there. I'm just kind of curious what Frank has to say at the end of the day. Our first our first day on the job. But I think it went pretty well. Wide turn. Going a little bit faster than uh, we probably should have, but it's fine. All right. Turn to the... I, I did. I'm here. I did it. I ended my work day. Oh, and now we get a Tuesday evening part. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling.
calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon! Cute. How are we gonna spend our time? Open agenda. Let's let's read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter one. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schulten Brown. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? I like that they allow you to do that. It's funny. All right, and then you just start at the post office and you get started on the next day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wind it up here. Um, thank you all so much for, for watching. And a special thank you to the dev for sending me a, uh, a dev key so I could try this out. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. Maybe. Anyway, thanks to them, because I was interested in trying out this game. Uh, this is a little different than what we typically play. I like games like this because occasionally you want something that's just chill. And this, from playing the last half hour, is pretty chill it's a pretty chill experience um and it does have it does have a little bit of firewatch vibes it's it's very much uh, a casual experience i like the idea of small town america and returning home after 20 years and just getting a chance to see old faces and meet new people it's kind of fun anyway i'll put the link to this down in the description below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week for more Stephen plays first 20 Okay, real quick, I'll, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, just, the, there is the one part of my brain that's just curious. Oh, I can't even, oh, I can't even get in the car. I was like, I just want to see if I can crash the vehicle. <laughs> I'm sure you can't. I'm sure everything in the game is, um, indestructible. I almost guarantee you, because it's not that sort of game. Oh, now it, that was weird. Once I opened the map, it was, okay, oh, real quick, real quick. What's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. I also love that there's a morning show. Mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? <laughs>